who those teams were. Luma giving the puck to Lemieux out the yard or walks in on goal his shot. He just missed the net. Montpellier got a piece of that here right in front. Zuma to Lemieux. He spread a step in and he can't do it. Nasik reading the play well to make the save. Yager from behind the goal goes to Lemieux, steps out. His wrist shot, stop, rebound. Nasik stops out of McElwain, too. Kennedy coming up against Buffalo. McElwain trying to shoot it to the net. And without a stick is Hasek with the Sabres gain control. Daryl Shannon touches up, and the Sabres will be shorthanded. The Penguins throwing everything in the kitchen sink at Dominic Hasek. And now what's the penalty going to be? He's looking at Hasek. Could he have thrown a stick at that puck? If he did, it might be a, it might be a penalty shot here. They're saying, I think, that Hasek threw his stick, and it might be a penalty shot. Well, the Penguins got a number of great opportunities around the net. If it's Andre Treffel off in there, it's 8-5 Pittsburgh by this time. And he mishandled the rebound off a shot by Dave McElwain, and indeed, that's what they're going to call. There's the stick right there, although I don't know that he threw it there, Mike. I think it just, you know how he drops that stick. It didn't appear as though he threw the stick. And the last man to have the puck was Lemieux, and he'll probably get the penalty shot. Merrill's only been denied once in his career on a penalty shot. He is going to go one-on-one -on -one against Dominic Hasek. So Hasek guilty of throwing the stick. This penalty shot at 537 of period number three. Been 22 tried in the league this year. Only five have been successful. Mm -hmm. This might be your hockey game right here. Now usually, Schick will talk to the goaltender and Lemieux, and he has, apparently, and Lemieux comes on one-on-one. -on -one. Here he comes against Hasek, who comes out to challenge Mario. Looks it over, makes a move, and he stops. And a big save there by the Buffalo goaltender against the league's premier goal scorer and point getter, Mario Lemieux. Big save by Dominic Hasek. He made it look easy. He came out and challenged Lemieux a little bit. Mario looked, I think, to that five hole, and he likes to, if he sees it, he'll go that way. Let's see what he went, what was thinking here. Well, Hasek is great on shots along the ice because he flops so well on the butterfly, and Mario went low. He tried to put it between his legs, I yep. believe. So Lemieux is denied. It's the toughest place to beat him because of the way he's able to flop down the ice, and that's exactly where he went. Hasa was ready for it. But Mario might go top shelf on him. Well, Lemieux checking his stick, and it's all right. The faceoff will be in the Buffalo end. Big save by Dominic Hassan. Hassan coming in to replace Andre Trebelov. Does not allow the Penguins a goal since period number two. And they've got a tie game, 5-5. For the Rangers tomorrow night at Madison Square Garden. Showdown battle on the east. Lemieux cutting back in to the near side. Looking to make a play. Kevin Miller's around the net. That drops it up to J.J. Dino. And the other skates to fly. Andy Burry. Burry in the right wing number 43. Jason Daw. He finds a little lane. Gives it to LaFontaine. Here he comes. Right down the front. It goes in by Barrasso. And the Sabres take the lead. Six to five. LaFontaine put it in around the net. Burry may have touched it. And Buffalo has the lead. Six to five. Months worth of goals for the Buffalo Sabres. Randy Burge and Pat LaFontaine, who have given the Penguins problems all night long. Burge played a very strong first period when Buffalo moved out to a 3 0 lead. Jason Daw carries the puck in a pretty pass to Pat LaFontaine. There's Burge right in front, unchecked, untouched, and Randy Burge will get the goal. He looked at LaFontaine as if to say, I don't know if I touched it or not. Let's see the play, see if he got good to it. I don't think he touched it. I think LaFontaine's going to get this goal. And talk about a crazy bounce again. Daw has had a terrific game. See, he didn't touch it. Oh, you know, they give Burries a goal, and I don't think he touched it. Not just for his reaction.